Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to get this paper and pencil effect in Photoshop and you could download both of the images for free. To do this effect, you're going to need two images, one of a person and one of torn paper. Now, both of these images are free stock images. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to the website pixabay.com. From there, you could download the torn paper and the image of the lady. Now, once you download them, all you need to do is open them both up into Photoshop. Now, obviously, the paper, we need to do something with it. We need to get rid of that smiley face in the middle. So we're gonna do that first. To do that, what we're going to do is select the paper on the outside. So you need to get a selection tool, specifically the magic wand tool. The W key is the keyboard shortcut for three different selection tools. They're all together here. If we long press, with the left mouse button, you can see there's object, quick, and magic wand. We want the magic wand tool. Then we're going to want to have a sample size, point sample, tolerance of 32, anti-alias, and contiguous. Don't, don't, you don't need uh, sample all layers. We just have one layer anyway. And we're just going to click on the paper. And when we do that, we selected all the paper on the outside. And it's a little bit messy. We have some stray marching ants over here and a few stray ones over here. And it didn't select all the paper right here. So we need to clean that up. Now to do that, we're going to get the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool is in that same little holder area. Just long press with the left mouse button and get the quick selection tool. And we'll be in the plus brush mode. And we're just going to clean up those marching ants over there over there and then select the rest of the paper over there. So now we have all the paper on the outside selected, but we need to really delete the middle part. So to do that, what we're gonna do is invert the selection, hitting Shift Command I on a Mac, Shift Control I on a PC, and we inverted the selection. Now simply hit the Delete key and you'll delete that middle part. Now those are blank pixels. so. If I had this layer on top of another layer, whatever is below it, that layer below will show through that middle area. That's what we want. Now we need to get rid of the marching ants, hit Commander Control D. Now this piece of paper is not big enough. Uh, we need to make it much bigger. And I really want more paper on the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the, um, the crop tool, hit the C key on your keyboard. Make sure that there are no numbers up here. Just hit the clear button here if there's, you know, make sure there's no numbers and make sure that content aware is checked. Delete crop pixels isn't applicable. It's not checked here. We're going to get more room to see what we're doing. So I'm going to hit command minus a couple times on my Mac. It would be control minus on a PC. We're just going to drag this way out. So we're making this much, much bigger. Okay, something like that. Now, because it's you know, even bigger, because we have content aware checked, when I click this little check mark, uh, Photoshop will fill in all those blank pixels on the outside with paper. So now it looks like a much larger piece of paper with a hole in the middle. Now, let's go over to the picture of the woman. If you're using this pic, uh, photo, this next step is, is optional. Uh, personally, I don't really care for the color toning of it, so I want to get rid of that kind of color toning that it has. So to do that, I'm going to go up to Image, down to Adjustments, and then down to Match Color. And then from there, I'm just going to click this Neutralize box to get rid of that color toning. And then on Color Intensity, I'm just going to boost that a little bit, make it just a bit more colorful like that. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to click OK. So this image is ready now. What we're going to go do is go over to the paper, get the move tool. The V key is the keyboard shortcut for the move tool. Click anywhere on the image, the paper itself, drag it up to the tab that contains the lady. Then bring your cursor over the top and hold the shift key in on your keyboard and let go of the left mouse button. That will drop it right in the middle. 
Now you can see it's really not large enough. So we need to make it bigger. We're going to get the transform tool. Hit Command or Control T to get the transform tool. And then we're just going to drag it out so it's larger than what we need. Now I like to have it so it's kind of covering up part of her lips and one eye. Um, it's up to you. You could position it as you see fit. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to hit the check mark to accept that transformation. Next step. Click on the background layer and duplicate it. Hit Command or Control J. Now take that background layer and drag it above the layer of paper. So just drag it up to the top. Now we're totally covering up the paper. Now we need to get that drawing. To do that, we're going to go up to Filter, down to Stylize, and then down to Find Edges. And you can see now we have this drawing. Now, what we need to do is get it so it's just on the paper and not covering everything up. So all we need to do is clip that background copy layer, this is the top layer, to that middle layer. To clip it to the middle layer, all you need to do is hold in the Alt or Option key, Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and then when you do that, hover the mouse cursor between those two layers. And when you do that, you'll see it turns into a square with a downward facing arrow. Just click once with the left mouse button and now you've clipped it to that paper layer and there you have it. So we have this kind of color pencil drawing uh, with the photo behind it and it looks like someone was drawing and the person was actually standing there. Now the next steps are optional. Maybe you don't want a color pencil. Uh, you want maybe like a charcoal pencil look so you need it black and white. To do that Hit Shift Command U on your keyboard on a Mac, Shift Control U on a PC to desaturate it. So now it's just black. Now maybe you want it a little darker. Again, it's optional. Hit Command or Control L to bring up levels. And then just take this left slider and move it to the right. And you can see as I move it to the right, it just makes it darker. So just like that, click OK and you're done. So that is how you get this, you know, kind of drawing effect. Uh, very easy to do. Um, uh, again, in the description below this video, I'll have links to pixabay.com and you could download both of the images and try this out for yourself. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>